In this video, I'm going to show you through this book. I will have a link in the description box below. This is Simply Charlotte Mason um, Presents Enjoy the Poems, and this is a book about Emily Dickinson and her poems. Um, they have several books that look just like this, but they're all by different poets. Okay, so here's the back if you want to read it. You can pause the video at any time to, you know, read anything. I'll try to I'll try to do this as a quick video, but also slow on some of the things so you can learn more about it if you want. Okay, so here's a picture of Emily Dickinson. And this th book was put together by Ruth Smith with help from Sonia Schaefer. This book is co copyrighted 2014. And here is the table of contents. Sorry, I'm shaky. I'm holding the phone and <laughs> stooping over. Okay, so here's a suggested schedule, how to enjoy the poems and getting to know Emily Dickinson, and then some poems that she wrote, and then some pages for illustration. Okay, so here's the suggested schedule. So, um, looks like they cover a whole school year. So, read a poem, week one. Week two, read a new poem. Week three, read the poet's biography and narrate it. And then weeks four and five, read a new poem. Week six, enter the poet in your book of centuries. So here, it just tells you how to use this book in your homeschool throughout the whole school year. It's very light and simple. Okay? So pretty much, you're just reading a poem each week. Um, children will, will read their poems, um, maybe draw a picture of their favorite poem, uh, put the poet in their timeline, maybe narrate what the poem is about. Okay, and this is just telling you how to enjoy the poem. So again, you can pause it if you need to. Try to go down in sections. And see, don't turn the poetry reading into lessons, okay? They're meant to be enjoyed, not dreaded. Okay, and here's some ways to encourage the children to make poetry of their own, like they could draw it, you know, um, memorize, recite it, treasure it, just act it out, different things. All right, <clears throat> over here on this side, after this line, Simply Charlotte Mason, all of the books that they put together have those lines. And on the other side of those lines is just notes, okay? So sometimes there's timeline figures, um, little tidbits of information, uh, things like that. Okay, so this part is just kind of her biography. just tells you some about her. And it's not very long. It's either one, maybe half of another page, too. Yep. And then it starts right into the poems. As you can see, Emily did not title this one. Now there is no drawing, I mean, there's no uh, pictures on here. There's no color, it's just black and white. And here's a poem, here's a poem. Again, you can see there's some notes here. Okay, so that's what this whole book is. And again, um, they offer these books for different poets. Um, we did this last year and we enjoyed it, it was fun. Um, we spent the year uh, learning about Emily Dickinson and memorizing her poems. So, okay. So, yeah, that's what this is about. I'm just flipping some more pages here so I can get to the back. Okay, pages for poem illustration. So, an illustration of, and you just put the title of the poem and maybe draw a picture to go for that particular poem. And here's another one. You can see that's pretty simple. And that is the end of the book. So, pretty thin. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of show you what that looks like in case you were interested. Have a good day.